Hey there friends, thanks for checking in at Ryder's Range and Ryder bought the new Walther WMP and that's what we're looking at today. It's new from Walther, it's a 22 Magnum. For those who don't understand, the 22 Magnum moves so much faster than the 22 Long Rifle and it is a lot louder, a ton more energy. And I think that's why Walther came up with the WMP. Now it's a full size handgun. A lot of people love the ergonomics of Walther. I love it. They call it cross directional texturing. And ever since they did that with the PPQ, they've modeled just about every handgun afterwards from that cross directional texturing because it feels so nice in the hands. 4.5 inch barrel. You can see it has lightning cuts in there. It's not ported. Serrated black rear sight. Fiber optic front sight, a trigger pull, very light slide spring too, but a trigger pull that the website says four and a half pounds, but it feels much lighter than that. It is a hammer fired gun. So you can see the hammer right there, easy to disassemble. It's a cool package, full pick rail right here. Uh, overall, very nice, and it has a unique magazine release system. I want to talk about that. I've got a couple of rounds. If you see the price of 22 Magnum lately, my goodness, it's pretty crazy. Well, let's see if I can hit anything with this. We'll start at the right. All right. So I may have gone low at first. Every handgun takes an adjustment. You know that, right? If not, you should. But it does come with two 15 round magazines. You can take a look at that. All right, it does have a assist right there, a little tab there allows you to pull the spring down as you load. Did I mention the, the spring weight? Very light. And it also has a right side and left side magazine release and separate trigger guard releases for both righties and lefties. So if you've ever seen a gun that is left-handed friendly, this is it. I think I told you the MSRP is 549, maybe I didn't, but that's what it's going for. Will it sell? Well, I think it'll sell once 22 Magnum frees up or people just love Walther handguns and they say, I want that the way Ryder did. And so I'm going to get it. The trigger does have a trigger bar safety in there. I would guess maybe even under four pounds. It says four and a half with the website, but you know, it's not a one size fits all. Let me load it up and we'll take a few more shots. All right, here we are again. I'm gonna try shooting one handed. It's worth mentioning that the slide is aluminum and it is optic ready. It will fit a shield, a Vortex Venom, an RMR, and a Doctor footprint. And any others that have that footprint. So Ryder told me I was shooting left. I'm gonna to try to make the adjustment here. Let's start from the right and I'll try not to shoot left. All right, I can live with that. <laughs> Let, let me try this uh, magazine release. The trigger guard mag release on both sides seems to work well. The thumb mag release on the left side. Some people, some people actually like the ambi mag release so they can drop their trigger finger. And yeah, I've never seen a handgun with four separate magazine releases. I find that very interesting. Will an optic help? Oh, yeah, I think so. Although, you know, if you think about it, RMR is every bit of $500 and the gun itself is, or has an MSRP of $549. It can get real, real pricey. Considering the, the cost of the 22 Magnum, WMR, WMP, you know, it, it would be a, a costly venture, but I think a lot of people would like this. You know, it's a full-size handgun. There's like no recoil. It's a fast-moving bullet, and it's also very loud. I think I said that. A 
Walther, WMP. One of the things I didn't mention is that it has an ambidextrous slide stop. But one, one of the things that needs to break in a bit because it's hard to manipulate. Let me drop the mag. It's hard to manipulate. So you have to, you have to manually charge it instead of dropping that. But overall, it's a pretty cool gun. It's not cheap. You know, we're looking at an MSRP of 549. Probably going to see that initially. I don't know that this is going to be the gun that a lot of people are going to chase after initially. I think once the price drops a little bit, perhaps that would be the case. Um, if you enjoy no recoil that so many beginners love, this is really cool. It's, it's accurate. You know, after I took a few shots, I settled in a little bit. It, it's very accurate. It has a very nice trigger. I already mentioned some of the other features that it has. It's a Walther. A lot of people love Walther. And I think it's a pretty cool gun. I know Ryder enjoys it. And it has that cross-directional texturing. No, no backstrap, so it's a fixed backstrap there. You'll have to go with it. But overall, it feels really well. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.